Aloha, it's Kim Deling with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your monthly reading for our Aquarius folks for the month of November 2017. So we are going to start with our general theme for the month as we've been doing. We'll be getting a little bit more guidance from the angels, and then we're going to be focusing on romance again this month. So I know that's always a favorite topic of a lot of you, so this was just guided for me to come in and bring romance in this month, in the month of November. So I'm excited about that. And before I forget, I want to mention to you that I have a special sale going on. And this is going on just, it's a Halloween sale and it's just through November 6th. So you would need to go on and schedule by November 6th, but it's a really great discount. So I'm offering 31% off in honor of Halloween, 31% off any length of reading. So whether that's a 15 minute, I do everything from 15 minutes to two hour readings. My most popular lately seems to be the 90 minute reading because you just really get a lot of great information in that period of time. So you save 31% by using the coupon code Halloween and there's a link and the information below so you can take advantage of that if you are watching this reading uh, between now and and November 6th. If you catch the reading after that and have not had a reading with me before, you can use the first time angel reading code and that saves you 20% and that code is angel20. So just giving you that information because sometimes I get moving and as I'm channeling and giving you the information then I forget to share these juicy bonuses with you. So let's get started we got the eight of earth coming in the earth cards are all about how you make your money and the eight really is a card of abundance it is an abundance you know when you think of in numerology eight is about abundance but interestingly enough in feng shui it's about knowledge and so this is and actually that's what this card is about as well as related to knowledge so this is a, a message to you that your work that you're putting in is going to be rewarded. And it's important, I think, for you to realize this, that your work is not for naught, that you will be rewarded in some way, shape, or form. Here's the key. Let's not be attached to how you are rewarded or how you are recognized or acknowledged for that. And then the other part of this is about learning everything that you can about a specific topic. So there's going to be a little bit of going back to school in the month of November or some plans to do that. And this is related to a topic that you're very interested in. So it's not gonna feel like school. And school in this realm could mean taking classes, could mean doing something online. There could be a number of different things that that relates to. It doesn't have to be a traditional school or it might be. So just know that that's part of your journey this month is learning everything that you can about a topic and perhaps going back to school. Let's see what else we have going. We have, oh, I only got one card. I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing? It's the first reading I'm shooting today, so it got me a little slack. I'm not quite with it yet. Oh, it is what it is, right? We've got the star coming in for you, which is Archangel Jophiel, and this is really a happy card. It's really about abundance, and what Jophiel is bringing forth to you is letting you know that there are happy times and you see the waterfall and you also see her she's got those pictures in her hands and it's abundant like they never empty those pictures are endless of the flow that's coming out of them and that is what the message is for you the flow is endless so you have an endless endless flow of abundance available to you you are on the right path so this is really kind of a pat on the back for you as well you are on the right path and you can make long-term plans right so be optimistic make those long-term plans that will work out well for you and then we have the page of fire coming in 
Fire cards are all about passion and action. And in Feng Shui, we also refer to the fire energy as your fame and your reputation as well. And, you know, obviously there's other things that come along with it, fire energy too. In this particular case, this is some news that's going to be coming to you about something exciting, an exciting new endeavor, exciting new project, something that you're going to get involved in, and it's going to require or uh, ask of you that you contribute your creativity and your ingenuity. And this is a beautiful gift that you have to contribute to this particular endeavor, this particular project. So be open with your gifts, right? Let's not be stingy with our gifts. Let's be open and be of service. And it may be paid, it may not be paid. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm getting for some of you it's a volunteer thing that you're volunteering. And for me, I recently just joined, I, I do find value in volunteering. I think it's it's definitely a worthwhile endeavor. And I myself just recently joined the board of the International Feng Shui Guild. And so I'm going to lend my talents and my gifts that I have to that organization because it really is a beautiful. And that organization, if you're interested at all in Feng Shui, you can actually join without uh, being, you don't have to be a practitioner. You can join the Feng Shui community just as like a friend, right? And it, the valuable information, the, the amount of experience that's in that group of all different types of feng shui, it is astounding, absolutely astounding. So it's definitely worthwhile. If it's something, if feng shui intrigues you at all, I would, I, I'll give you a plug for that because it's, it's an amazing organization and definitely worthwhile. So volunteerism, that's where I was going with that. We've got the king of water coming in for you. So lots of balance. We've got earth, we've got fire, and we've got water here for you. So we've got the king of water coming in. Water cards are all about the depth of emotion. And oftentimes this might mean there's a little bit of emotion that comes up for you. And emotions are a beautiful gift. They give you messages, right? They, it's, it's a beautiful gift for you. And what the message is for you with this king of water is about opening your heart. So one of the things that I like to do is like that heart opening exercise. It's a, I've got lights over on the side here, so I can't fully do it, but uh, it's a heart opening, right? A yoga pose, and it opens your heart. You can even do it with your arms like this. So it opens your heart, and that's really just what I'm feeling is you guys need to break your heart wide open, right? Open your heart, open your mind to the people around you, and be in that space of like, like let's look at them without labels. Let's look at them without judgment and let's just love one another. That's really what that heart breaking open is about. And oddly enough, so I was getting ahead of myself because I did not even see this card. I didn't, I didn't register what that card was. And this card is also about charity work. So the, they're asking you and, and nudging you to do some sort of charity work this month. It also can be about getting great advice. So trustworthy, heartfelt advice from someone. And that that is something that will help you navigate this particular month. So all of the, the information, the ideas that I'm giving here are things that will help you navigate your month with more ease and with more grace, right? So for those of you that maybe this is the first time you're watching a reading from me, it is a, they're just little signposts. That's what I'm giving you. We all have access to information from our own angels, our own guides, right? And this is really just helping you get connected to that information and open you, opening you up further. So this, isn't, this is something that you could do for yourself as well, right? And that is something that I teach my coaching clients get to learn a little bit more about how to access their own higher wisdom and to be able to make decisions from that place. Look at a little hair there. Okay. So we've got, uh, for the romantic romance line of things, we have romantic feelings coming up. So this is a beautiful card, and it's really about, yes, the feelings are real. The feelings that you're having are real, and they're worth exploring. So let's just lean into that. I love, I love that expression by my mentor. She always talks about leaning in. Like, let's lean in. Lean into that, right? You don't have to jump in. Just lean in. It's not, it's not something where you have to, you have to 
like throw yourself in, but just lean in and explore, right? Be open to what might occur. And then we do have make the effort. So this is a little bit of more of a push for you. So making the effort, when this card comes in, it's, it's letting you know that great love is worth the effort. It's worth taking the steps. It's worth taking the actions that you're guided to take. And it's worthwhile to swirl with people that on the surface, you maybe think, oh, this is not my type, right? <laughs> like, this is not the type of person that I would normally go for. And, or this is, you know, this thing and that thing and the other thing are quote unquote, um, not non-negotiables, what is it? Um, uh, the term we use is, I'm drawing a blank. You know what I'm talking about though. Where it's like these things, if, if, if they have these things, then that's just an automatic no. Like it's non-negotiable type of thing. And what they want you to do is really be in a space of like, let's open up. This person came into your world, into your swirl for a reason. And let's, you know, let's see what that reason is. What gift do they have to offer you? Because that's what that's all about. And then let your friends help you. I like this one too. So let your friends help you. And this is really about asking your friends for support and then being open to receive it. So that support can come in a number of different ways. Of course, they can potentially set you up with someone that's going to be your beloved, or they may have some advice, or maybe they just get you out of the house, right? That could be it too. They just get you out of the house. That is uh, letting your friends help you. So that's what I've got for you for the general reading. Stay tuned for the next little video that is going to be quick feng shui tips for doors this month. So stay tuned to see what you need to do about your doors this month. <laughs> Much love to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your quick feng shui tip for November 2017. So today's tip is about doors and doors, issues with doors can cause a number of things to be happening in your life. So you may find uh, doors can cause arguing, they can cause complaining, whining, confusion, all kinds of different things that the doors in your home actually can affect or have an impact on in your life. So today I'm going to give you essentially two quick feng shui tips related to doors. Here is your homework assignment or your task for today. That is to go around your entire home and check all of the doors. And that would mean doors to the outside, doors to bedrooms or other rooms, closet doors any type of door that you have in your home, go around and check all of these. And you're going to be checking for two things. Number one, can they open fully? And this is really, really important, especially around the front door because that's where your opportunities come in, but other doors in the home as well because doors represent the voice of adults in the home. And when we have doors that aren't able to fully open, we may find that our voice as an adult is um, not being able to be heard, right? So it's not opening fully. So we wanna make sure that all of the doors in your home can open fully. That means you're not storing junk behind them. Uh, they are able to fully open and that will allow your voice to be heard and also as it relates to the front door for more opportunities to enter and to find you. The second thing that I want you to check when you are going around checking all of your doors is to see whether they are making any noise. Are your doors squeaking? Are they essentially complaining or whining? That can be symbolic of complaining or whining by the adults in your home. So we want to make sure that all of our doors can move freely without making any noise, right? We want them to be. So a little WD-40 can go a long ways to quieting the complaining chatter in your home if that's something that you're experiencing. So those are my two quick feng shui tips for doors this month. Make sure to check out the next video if you're interested in doing more work with me. If you're fascinated by feng shui and want to learn more, check out the next video that will have a little bit more for you.